Hello everyone. Welcome back to the online spoken English class. In this module, we shall know some more misused forms. Let us look at the first one. According to my opinion, he is right. This is an incorrect sentence. We say, in my opinion, and not according to my opinion. Now repeat the correct sentence after me. In my opinion, he is right. The next one is, I have put at least 3 kilos. Please note, we say put on weight and not put weight. Now repeat the correct sentence after me. I have put on at least 3 kilos. First one is, I saw a strange dream last night. This is incorrect. We say have a dream and not see a dream. Please repeat the correct sentences after me. I had a strange dream last night. Or I dreamt a strange dream last night. The next one is I did one mistake in dictation. Please note, we say make a mistake and not do a mistake. Now repeat the correct sentence after me. I made one mistake in dictation. The first one is, this man always says the truth. Please note, we say tell or speak the truth and not say the truth. Now repeat the correct sentence after me. This man always tells the truth. Or, this man always speaks the truth. The next one is, I asked him if he was going. This is an incorrect sentence. Now please repeat the correct sentence after me. I asked him whether he was going. Please note, if we are expecting a yes or no reply, then Weather must be used. Let us look at the first sentence. The pupil gave his examination. Please note, 
the teacher gives or sets the examination and the student takes the examination or sits for the examination now repeat the correct sentence after me the pupil took his examination the next one is both of them did not go to the school this is incorrect please note both is changed into neither in a negative sentence now please repeat the correct sentence after me neither of them went to the school the first one is he did not speak loudly and clearly this is incorrect please note if a negative word is used in a sentence then the conjunction or must be used instead of and please repeat the correct sentence after me he did not speak loudly or clearly the next one is at the end they reached the city this is incorrect please note in the end means finally or at last at the end means at the farthest point or part now repeat the correct sentence after me in the end they reached the city look at the first sentence any of these two books is good this is incorrect please repeat the correct sentence after me either of these two books is good please note either means one or the other of the two any means one of three or more the next one is he says he is not afraid of nobody this is incorrect now please repeat the correct sentence after me he says he is not afraid of anybody or he says he is afraid of nobody please note in english two negatives are equal to an affirmative statement therefore avoid using two negative sentences in this module we understood how we can avoid the usage of commonly misused words thank you